Special thanks to Patreon supporter Ghost of Shishima for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 12 here, welcome back to another Minecraft add-on tutorial. Before we go ahead and jump into this video, I do want to go ahead and mention that this is going to be an add-on tutorial. What this means is you will need to build the RQ4 uh, Global Hawk tutorial first before going ahead and attempting to build the MQ4C Triton. We'll be going ahead and using the RQ4 as a base to go ahead and modify into the MQ4C Triton. Since they are pretty much both the same aircraft in the Triton here being the naval equivalent, and really the main difference is here being a reskin, we're going to be going ahead and basically uh, making the tutorial a little bit easier and going ahead and start off with um, basically referring to you to that tutorial. So that tutorial will be linked in the video description or a simple search on my channel can find that. Uh, again, that's going to be the RQ4. Um, with that though, let's go ahead and um, move into the tutorial from here and go ahead and uh, at this point in time, go ahead and build the RQ4 if you are interested in building this model here for the Triton. So guys, welcome back to another Modern Warfare tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Triton. The Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Triton is an American high-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle, which abbreviates to UAV, under development for the United States Navy as a surveillance aircraft. Together with its associated ground control station, it is an unmanned aircraft system. Developed under the uh, Broad Area Maritime Surveillance Program, the system is intended to provide real-time intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions over vast ocean and coastal regions. Continuous maritime surveillance, conduct search and rescue missions, and to complement the Boeing P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. Uh, Triton builds on elements of the RQ-4 Global Hawk. Changes include reinforcement to the airframe, wing, de-icing systems, and lighting protection systems. These capabilities allow the aircraft to descend through cloud layers to gain a closer view of ships and other large or other targets at sea when needed. The sensor suites allow ships to be tracked by gathering information on their speed, location, and classification. Uh, the MQ-4C system development and demonstration aircraft were delivered in 2012 and the MQ-4C was expected to be operational by late 2015. With a total of 67 aircraft to be procured, initial operation capability for the MQ-4C was achieved in 2018 with full operating capability planned in 2023. So yeah, the MQ-4C uh, here, basically the um, new uh, aircraft, or I guess you can say relatively new for the United States Navy, designed as a surveillance type aircraft and basically fulfilling the same role as the RQ-4, just as I mentioned with a few different changes to it to cater it to the Navy needs. Um, before we go ahead and take a look at this build, I do want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Ghosh of Tsushima for making this tutorial possible. As always, if you're interested in supporting the channel more you already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a via core request of your choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel and is really greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to give that a check if you are interested in um, that program. With that though, let's go and dive into taking a look here at the... Um, MQ-4C and basically see exactly where we're building. So as you can see, if you built the RQ-4, you're very familiar with this aircraft. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, one of the other changes that is noticeable is the addition of a camera pod that's located down on the bottom of the nose there of the aircraft. So uh, something that kind of helps set it apart a little bit from the rest. Uh, but color scheme wise, it's got a gray kind of undertone and a white top tone and that's really going to be your main differences there. We do have the, um, obviously the American um, kind of Randall um, well, not really Randall, but International Star Insignia is a technical term for it. But that little logo there on the side that's on all um, American aircraft. And overall, a pretty nice design for it. Um, I think it came out pretty good. Again, I was a really big fan of the RQ-4 Global Hawk um, design. And this just kind of builds on that design with obviously the color changes, which I kind of like the color scheme of this a little bit better. So anyways, with this tutorial, uh, you'll have both the Navy and uh, United States Air Force uh, versions of the um, basically... Uh, this uh, kind of unmanned drone um, platform. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the conversion tutorial uh, for the RQ-4 into the MQ-4C Triton. All right, guys, so moving into the conversion for this aircraft. To go ahead and get started with, we'll be going ahead and going to the bottom front nose of our aircraft. And we want to go ahead and go to this block, and we're going to go down from this with a light gray shulker box like so. We're going to place down an item frame that comes off this toward the front, followed by a black bed in the item frame and a dark oak side on the side of the shulker box, like so there for the front. We can also go ahead and grab ourselves some gray stained glass panes, and we're also going to go ahead and replace this skeleton skull here with a gray stained glass pane like that for the front nose there. Now once we get to this point, we also want to go ahead and go to this stone section here on the bottom. We're going to replace these dark or this iron trap doors with dark oak wood. 
as well as replace the slabs and stairs and gray concrete here basically this section here um, with basically our polished blackstone so kind of the main material we used for the body here we're just going to go ahead and fill this in um, with that so gray concrete and again our polished blackstone stairs and slabs and dark oak trap doors um, in the sections where they would be located so like that and then after we have that done uh, we should have this whole kind of bottom section here in a gray um, undertone which is what we want here for this aircraft so basically just like this now once we have that gray undertone uh, all complete there that's pretty much the bottom there of the aircraft uh, complete now at this point we're going to be going ahead and grabbing ourselves quartz so uh, for this we're going to go ahead and need some quartz uh, some smooth quartz full blocks uh, some smooth quartz basically slabs um, stairs I would also recommend some skeleton skulls just in case some diorite walls and some iron trap doors as well as um, some daylight detectors and stuff like that. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with this, but basically what we're going to do here is we're going to be going ahead and starting off at this point. So this row right here, we're going to replace this stone block, the stone stairs, obviously these quartz blocks right here along the side here. And we're going to replace basically this whole line going along the side here of the fuselage back. So basically any gray concrete, anything like that, uh, stone blocks that get in our way of this line are just going to be go ahead and swapped over. So again, we're just going in this straight line all the way back. This uh, gray or this black right here is also going to be replaced with gray concrete. So go ahead and make that change as well. Uh, but basically, again, our quartz stairs on the side here, quartz full blocks. We have our direct walls here, like so. On the back here, obviously, our quartz slabs, our uh, full blocks here around the engine area. Uh, we'll place down iron trap doors here, as well as grabbing ourselves some white carpet. And we're going to be placing down white carpet here, of course, on top of those. Um, section there and again we'll just go to the front and kind of basically start building up uh, from here so again we're just going to place our quartz all up in this section so basically from that line going up and we're just going to go take this back like so we'll swap out the daylight detectors there to turn them to the day mode so that they have a more white color to them which matches the aircraft a little bit better and this is again just going to be filled in here and then we're going to go and take our walls, place these walls here along the side. And then continuing on, we have our quartz slabs here, quartz stair, quartz full block, slab, turn that to day mode. And you may get some trapdoors acting a little wonky here. Um, if that's the case, we can uh, adjust these. And basically what your kind of your options here is, you can either leave the daylight detector in a gray mode. Um, but if you have access and you're on Java, we're going to use the slash give at P debug stick. And we'll go ahead and give ourselves a debug stick. By using the debug stick, we can go ahead and change the properties to open to false. And this right here will close those iron trapdoors around that daylight detector. So just a nifty trick there if you're on uh, Java. And then also we're going to place on a skeleton skull right here. Uh, also, just to throw this out there, birchwood trapdoors can also be placed there and manually closed if uh, you do feel a little bit better using that. And this stair also right here, we're going to go ahead and swap out for a quartz corner stair in that location there. Anyways, continue on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and delete these banners here as we will not have any use for them. We'll go ahead and continue to place quartz in this section here. Uh, at this point, we will also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some polished andesite. We'll be going ahead and using polished andesite stairs uh, basically in this section right here. So around this intake, we're going to go ahead and replace these three upside down stairs here with polished andesite as well as the stair right here to both sides with polished andesite as well and skeleton skulls which we coming off the sides there of those top stairs there we're gonna have this quartz steps down stair here quartz stairs across the top two slabs and obviously these uh blocks up here where we're going to go ahead and place of quartz as well and just make sure that you do replace those buttons so we have our two stone buttons and one button there and then we're just going to place down a quartz stair right there like that and so uh, with that all done, that's pretty much that. Um, don't forget these walls on the back here as well. Uh, very easy to miss as well as some of the skeleton skulls here on the back as well. And it's like corner state or corner or slight angled um, skull like that. And we're just going to place down our quartz up downstairs here and basically for our, our vertical stabilizers. We're going to have these quartz stairs that go up. So right here's going to be upside down stair, normal stair, 
And then we have our direct walls. On both ends. And then up here again. Our stairs up on top. So just like that. And we'll go ahead and grab some skeleton schools and place these down on the sides here. Like that of these stairs. And after that, uh, also this wither skeleton school here, we'll swap out for a skeleton school. So with uh, that done, uh, that's mainly it for the main body of the aircraft. And at this point, uh, we're going to be going ahead now moving into the wings. Now the wings here, as you probably imagine, all the Dark Goku trapdoors will be replaced with iron trapdoors on the top here. So we're just going to go ahead and replace these. So just like this, all the way down. And it's only going to be on the top portion. We're not going to go ahead and touch the bottom. And we're also going to place down our white carpet on top here of all these, or basically replacing all the gray carpet. So going all the way down. Like so. And again, this is just kind of keeping that white color for the top portion we have here. Transfer it over to the wings. So just like that. And we basically have our wing all complete and our whole uh, top section of the wing then. And at this point, really all you need to do now is take this color scheme, flip it over to the air side so you have both sides exactly the same. And I'll see you guys here in a sec once we have that done. All right guys, so we basically have the color scheme transferred over to both sides. And one thing I also wanna mention is if you do have the landed version of this aircraft, basically the landed version is completely the same. All the landing gear, everything like that compared to the RQ4 is all gonna be the same. Um, there are no changes between the two. So just want to mention that again, if you are building the landed version as well, um, that's basically it for that. Um, and nothing, you really have nothing to change. Now at this point, we're going to be now making the kind of national star insignia that will be on the side of the aircraft. For this, you're going to need a loom, a white banner, a blue banner, three white dye, four blue dye, a, piece, a red dye, and a banner pattern that's going to be the flower charge. We're going to start off by going into our loom and we want to go ahead and place down our um, blue banner. We're going to go then place down a white piece of dye. We're going to go ahead and select the brick pattern, like so. We're going to go ahead and grab our white dye. We're going to go ahead and select our blue banner, put it back into our loom, and our red dye. We're going to do a line here for the center of our red dye. And at this point, uh, we actually want to go ahead and grab two more pieces of white dye. We're going to go ahead and place this back into our loom and our white dye here. And we're going to go ahead and do the line across the top there and the line across the bottom, like that, to go ahead and make this. Uh, banner like so. We're going to put that to the side and we'll come back to that a little bit later. We're going to go ahead and place down our uh, white banner into our loom, followed by our blue dye. We're going to do a line across the center, like so, blue dye. Put this back into our loom and then we're going to go ahead and place down our white dye, as well as the banner pattern, that's the flower charge. It's going to create a symbol that looks like this. We're going to grab that, place that back into our loom, remove our white dye and our um, banner uh, pattern. And we're going to then place down our blue dye. We're going to do the um, line across the top, so just like this, that upper third, we're going to go ahead and then place down white dye, and we want to go ahead and then do the diamond in the center. We're going to place down our blue dye back into our loom, we're going to do the triangle from bottom, like this going up, and we then want to go ahead and do the lower third um, section across the bottom here with blue, and it'll create this uh, blue star, like so. And this banner pattern, super simple, is going to be placed on the side of the aircraft, it's going to go ahead and go basically to this quartz block here, stripe, blue banner, and stripe like that. And obviously the same thing will be done on this side as well, and that will create that little natural star and you on the side of the aircraft. With that though, that is going to basically complete my design here for the, um, basically the MQ-4C Triton. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do, I'm using this build, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This thing from a silent build, tweet to my channel, or this video, if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for a project you guys are working on over on Enjoy the Build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Ghost of Tsushima for making this video possible, and as always, feel free to check my Patreon page, link is always in my video descriptions. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 by 4 and I'll see you guys next time.